So you might ask yourself, only five habits, Jamie? You only got five habits when you went into jail? That's the only ones you brought home was five? Well, maybe more than five, bro, but we're just gonna talk about five today. Number one for me is I always sit in a corner when I go into a restaurant. If we're gonna go eat, bro, like I will sit at the bar, don't get it messed up. I'll sit at the bar and you know, people can walk up behind me and all that stuff. But nine times out of 10, and especially for the first couple years of coming home, I wasn't sitting in the middle of no restaurant. I wasn't gonna let anybody be able to walk up behind me in any way, shape or form because I had gotten so familiarized with my surroundings and always paying attention to every single person moving and how close they were to me that that was something that took me a long time to set aside. Because inside, man, you, you know, you're fearing for your safety. You never know when something's gonna happen. You never know when somebody might just wanna take you out for some reason you don't wanna even know about, bro. So that's definitely one of the things that I brought home that took me a while to break. Now, the second one you're probably going to think is a little bit weird, bro, but this is what it is, okay? So while you're in prison, you're always getting instant coffee. Like, you don't get brewed coffee. So I drank instant coffee all the time, and I still drink a lot of coffee. And it would stain the inside of your cup. Like, back then, they had them old handy mark cups that was white and red, and they had that little clip on the lid that went on there, the plastic ones. Uh, side note on that is dude used to take and tattoo those. We used to take tattoo machines and put the ink in there and actually tattoo it into the plastic and write designs and stuff on the cups, man. That was pretty cool. But after a while, your cup would get super brown and there would be, you know, a line wherever you filled your coffee cup up to every day. Inside, like you could wash it, but I didn't. I would just wash it out real good. You had a 180 degree water thing to come out and you could just pump water right into there. You didn't have to put it in the microwave or nothing like that. So you could take that, rinse it out and all that stuff. And I did that, man. But for years, I had the same coffee cup and I just rinsed it out every day. So even when I come home now, dude, like, I mean, I still got a nice Yeti cup, but I still do not wash this with dish soap because I feel like anytime dish soap touches my coffee cup, that hot coffee comes in a little bit later on, and now I'm tasting Dawn. I don't want to taste Dawn when I'm tasting my coffee, bro. Mm. Now this one I guarantee a lot of people have probably done too. So when you're in prison, bro, you don't want your feet to touch the floor. You don't want your feet to touch the floor of that shower, especially because that shower is absolutely disgusting, bro. I don't even want to talk about all the things you can find in that shower. So shower shoes are definitely a thing. And I brought shower shoes home with me. Like, probably not the prison shower shoes, but I bought a pair of sandals. I bought a pair of slides, people call them, whatever. And I've been wearing those on my feet for years. In the house, outside of the house, I come home, I take my shoes off, and those are kind of like my slippers. I don't really wear slippers like old man slippers like my pops used to wear. Um, I used to do Crocs or I would do like some kind of Nike slide or something like that, man. But for years, I haven't let my feet touch the ground except for when I take a shower and when I go swimming. So that might be kind of weird to some of you out there, dude, but uh, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Shit you pick up, bro. Okay, so this one right here is the one that everybody makes fun of me the most for, and that is a toboggan on my head while I sleep. Because in prison, bro, the lights rarely go out it's hard enough to find a dark space to fall asleep, and sometimes you just can't. So you take a shirt, or you take a hat, or you put something around your head so that your eyes can be blocked away from the light, and then you get to sleep. And here I am 15 years later still doing it. One thing about prison as well is you're in a little cell, man. Nine times out of 10, you have a little area, and all you have to do is take care of that little area. Some people live really disgusting in prison. I have seen it to the point where guards have to make a person get in the shower. They have to make a person change their bed clothes and clean their cell because other inmates and other convicts for real are smelling these people that refuse to shower while they're in prison. This is absolutely beyond me, bro. I could never live that way. I have to take a shower a day at least, if not two sometimes. So I learned to be super OCD. I have a place for everything. If you ever watch any of the things that I'm doing as far as where things are in my house or in my truck or in my camera bag, for example, all that stuff has a place where it goes, man. And it just makes everything so much easier for me. But it's never really been a problem for me, you know what I mean? It's not like I go out the door and have to lock my door 75 times before I can go to work or something like that, bro. It doesn't work like that. It's just a really good organizational tool for me. And I'm glad I came home that way. I'm glad it taught me that thing for sure because I'm so much more organized and uh, 
able to just define my stuff. Like some of my buddies are like, oh, I can't find my keys and I can't find my wallet and I don't know where I left this. Well, get a little OCD in your life, bud. Now, I know I only said five habits, but I'm gonna give you a bonus habit, man. I am super respectful. Like one of the biggest things I learned from prison was to be respectful, bro. Just respect other people's boundaries. Don't get too close to people. You know, don't say crazy stuff out your mouth just thinking that there's no consequence for it. So regardless of your views, you know, politically or, or you know, racially or, or anything that I could possibly even agree with or disagree with, man, I just let you have that, bro. Like, I'm not trying to be right all the time. I don't care about being right. I also learn to be humble. You know, sometimes it's not even important to win the argument. It's just as important to allow those limitations to be set on you. So I'm super respectful. I try my best to allow people to have their, just don't come in my space, bro. Just don't come in my space. This truck bed right here, this is my space. You wanna stand over there and talk? We can talk. You wanna stand over there and talk? We can talk, that's cool. But all up in here, this is me. If I can touch you, you're probably too close to me. <laughs> but I'm still super respectful, man. Like I'm quiet, I'm 200 freaking 40 pounds, bro. And I'm like a ninja when I walk through the house. Like I don't walk on the heels of my feet with all that boom, 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 boom. I don't do all that, bro. I am super quiet. I'm super respectful. And that definitely came from being in prison, man, because disrespect in there might get you killed. And that's K-I-L-T, kilt. Not the kind you wear, kilt. Thanks for hanging out, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you haven't yet, man. I hope you're enjoying this little bit of truck sessions here, man. I just wanted to be able to chop it up with you guys, you and me, tell you a couple stories about my life, man. But this channel is growing every day, man. We're starting to produce content for other creators, and, and, and this is really going to go somewhere. I have a super fucking cool edit coming from the tent city trip in south carolina so if you don't know anything about that one man then i guess you don't follow me enough you should be following me on facebook um, because that's where all that come from this is going to be a super cool video i found a local editor that i've given that footage to man and i'm hoping to get that back this week so we can post that dude i'm so stoked to see this and then i want to plan a trip to new york man so we got a lot of things coming up man but this is just chopping up time with me and you if you're still hanging out at this point man Thank you. You are awesome. I appreciate you sticking around, man, and showing a little bit of interest in what I'm doing. Until the next time, don't sweat the petty things. Pet the sweaty things.